Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be reviewing two closets, two compositions from the White Collection, which is a collection which can be used in the living room, in the bedroom, in the walk-in cabinets, in the entrance, and as we are seeing today, also for special features of a single uh, bedroom or let's say a teenager bedroom. Let's dive in. So as we said before, uh, this review is about these two compositions, which are uh, two examples from Infinite, I would say compositions that we can create with the White Collection, I would say uh, dozens of thousands, I could even say millions. Uh, why this happens? Because this is a closet system, it is based on these 25 millimeters thick partitions. You can actually perceive the partitions when there's a free side, you can see it here, for example, or you can see it at the other end, we'll see the detail later, and you don't perceive the, per the partition itself when the partition is, is covered by two doors, because we have a supporting partition here, at the extreme left, we have another one here, we have hidden partitions here and here, and then we have another one here at the end. So we see if let's imagine that this composition would be would be wider than the 264 that that, that, that it is, and uh, if it had drawers uh, going on from here, the drawer here on its left would cover this part of the partition that you can perceive. For example, if we open these two, you could actually you could actually perceive the partition I was telling you about in here. So this is about how it is built overall. Um, it is totally custom made in width. You have multiple modules available, but you can have custom made by the, by the millimeter. <coughs> it has different heights. Uh, the most used are 229, 225, and 291. This one here is 255. This ceiling would be roughly around uh, 270. And you can imagine that if you wanted a fitted look, uh, you, could, you could start from the 291 version. You could have it cut down to 268, and so it would fill completely your space. So let's dive in, in in the details of how this uh, composition is uh, built. Uh, and here we have a full column uh, with hanging space up here. Uh, <coughs> we have three sets of drawers and big drawers underneath underneath the, the, the unit. And uh, so here we have the upper drawer, which has uh, a hidden uh, mm, niche, uh, a built-in handle here. Uh, it's quite convenient. Uh, it doesn't have a normal grip that you see here. Here you see you place your end and there's this metal grip which is can be lacquered in any color of the collection while the upper drawer has this, uh, this nice detail. And then we have the big drawer uh, underneath. Here we have uh, an interesting top which uh, uh, can be used in multiple ways. I could have an iFi system, uh, I could have all my, uh, my PlayStation uh, or, or my games. Here we have, uh, we have a tally attached to the boiserie. Uh, and here we imagined the, uh, I would say, single bedroom uh, or it could be used also in a double bedroom setting because uh, if I imagine that the closet would go on before I was imagining that drawers would be uh, would go along here but we could imagine that here we have another column going down and so this whole niche would would find itself in the middle of a bigger composition and in this case we could imagine even in a double bedroom setting uh, where we have a telly in the middle maybe in front of the bed and here we imagine that there's a smaller telly and here's a convenient hanging space uh, because you know everybody lo loves to be tidy uh, but uh, there's a certain degree of coziness in the fact that maybe the, the, the items of clothing that I'm using uh, these days I like to leave them exposed or maybe what I'm going to wear tomorrow I take it out from the closet and I hang it here and when I wake up in the morning I throw off I take off my pajama and wear what I've, I've been preparing and so it's nice to look at and it's it, it can even be convenient. What is interesting to point out is that uh, these items, you see they are independent items, a drawer unit and a drawer unit, but they are covered by a single top. And the same uh, setting we find it uh, in the hanging part uh, of, the, of the closet, uh, because here if I open it, uh, let's see if you can see it here, we can see that there's a structure which is built with the same material of the inside, but uh, on the structure itself, by looking underneath, we would see 
all the lines of the different partitions. And so underneath the structure, there's an additional panel which doesn't have any joint or line. You see, the, for example, this line here, uh, out of the two panels of the, of the back panel, we would imagine here multiple lines based on the, uh, the way it is built, while everything is covered with a single panel, which is not only a single panel, but it's a single panel in the same exact finish that I've chosen for the outside. So this is, this is beautiful because you see, I can see it, it depends on how high you are, but for example, if I sit on the bed and I look at it, I love to see a clean, a clean surface. Okay, uh, more, uh, I'll move around here. <coughs> more, more about uh, the way the hanging part is built, because uh, this, is, this is called a bridge unit. Uh, you could have, uh, uh, as I said, uh, you could have a partition going to the floor that supports this unit. And so this unit would be supported by that two-door closet on the side and by a partition here. Or you could have another closet element coming mm, in this direction. Uh, but it, it's also attached to the wall. So depending on the situation, if I have double support, I can imagine that a composition like this can be completely detached for the wall, from the wall or attached to uh, a, a wall uh, maybe made in, out of plasterboard, something that can, does not, would not really allow to attach this sort of uh, deep elements. Uh, while in this case, considering that here, it's open, we don't have a partition or a closet. Uh, this is beautiful because I could imagine that this is the entrance of my room. So I'm coming here and uh, yes, I could have a partition and maybe on the partition I could have a mirror, but in terms of perception or on the perspective uh, look that I have on my room, when, I, when I'm here, I can already enjoy my room. Maybe there I could have a window. And so being it open, it's, I would say it's lighter in perception. And so this uh, uh, hanging element is actually attached to the wall. These are empty wooden walls because we are in a showroom and, and still we can attach uh, these items. But it's correct to consider that a, a part of the weight of this element is actually supported by this panel here, uh, which is in, in also supported by, <coughs> by the, the, the base elements. So uh, this is, uh, uh, I mean, I don't really need this back panel, uh, technically speaking, but this back panel is indeed beautiful because uh, it gives you an opportunity to play with different finishes. It allows you to bring electricity and cable to the telly that it's there and it actually helps supporting the hanging element. And this is uh, quite useful in situations where I'm not sure about the reliability of the wall in actually supporting this sort of weight. So here we see a different yet similar interpretation of the topic of these uh, uh, closets with a hanging unit, a uh, bridge unit above. And uh, for example, this is slightly wider, it's 294 in this interpretation, it's still 255 high height uh, and um, uh, 61 centimeters deep. Here we see that we start with a two doors closet unit. Here, instead of the drawers in the lower part, we have the full doors, 255. This actually underlines the presence of the grip because in this collection, you, you can have handles, different type of handles, which can be colored in many different colors. But uh, I especially like uh, uh, the full grip or I especially like, you can find it on the catalog, the half grip. The half grip starts from the floor and arrives at this height. The half grip is especially beautiful if you have, let's, let's say, a four door, six door, eight door closets. It's less interesting in a situation like this where you would have a half grip here and then a smaller grip above. In this case, it's better going from the floor up to the top. And uh, so the two doors units, very flexible in dimensions. Here we, here we see the same uh, hanging cabinets uh, sit, uh, solution that we, that we saw before with, with, with the same uh, underlying element uh, made of a single piece. What is especially interesting here is the part underneath. So we don't have drawers unit, or at least we have a drawer unit here. We have a home office setting, the same type of grips, of grips smaller drawers and bigger drawers that we described before. And uh, here we have a very interesting desk with a thick, a four centimeter stop. This is laminate, but there's multiple finishes. And uh, what is interesting is that it has this me metal structure uh, because here you see it's supported uh, at the extreme left uh, by this drawer unit, but we could imagine this desk without the drawer unit, so it would be supported by these metal supports here. 
and it's actually underneath here. This metal part can be called in any color of the collection. Uh, this is in the mocha shine finish, but uh, uh, it's interesting that you can have it uh, customized in color and you can have it custom made in width, uh, which uh, is especially interesting because you can have uh, a, a totally custom desk. Here it is in integrated, but you can purchase the, the, the white desk uh, on its own and put it anywhere. So here we have this composition, drawer is unit, st structure, top. This top ideally connects to the back panel, okay? And on the back panel, it is built uh, in a slightly different way from what uh, uh, we saw before, because uh, before we saw that the panel was uh, being supported by the drawers unit underneath. Here we see that the panel actually goes down to the floor and the desk is actually against the panel. So here the panel goes from the floor up here to the hanging element and uh, the desk is in front. There on the panel, instead of the telly that we, see in the previous, we saw in the previous examples, there are these uh, metal shelves. These actually has uh, sides to um, keep your stuff and your teddy bear in. Uh, while here we see these very uh, thin shelves. They are made in uh, metal and can be just like the structure of the desk. They can be lacquered in any color of the collection. The white collection has does actually have a wide collection of materials. And for example, we have laminates, we have matte lacquers, we have glasses. Here we see the matte lacquer Yuta, which is a beige with a tiny hint of gray, but it actually depends on, on the lighting. Uh, I really love it because it goes well with browns and uh, warm colors in general. <clears throat> Here we have this laminate. I love it. Uh, it's called Old Copper. I use it in my home for a tiny item of furniture that I designed for my home. And uh, it's very practical and uh, because it's a laminate, so it's difficult to scratch it. And uh, it's very warm and varied because there are darker parts and lighter parts. Uh, I find it interesting, both with beige and browns, but potentially also with uh, lighter grays, okay? Uh, and in fact, here we see it uh, joined together, combined with the mocha shine finish. It is the most used because uh, it is uh, a matte finish with a slightly metallized effect. It is indeed gray, but it is called mocha shine because, because it has very uh, tiny shade of brown. And so it actually fits well with both grays and browns. And here we have, uh, we have a proof of it. So we can actually customize the interiors as well. And uh, here we have the Oxford sand finish. Uh, it is a very practical finish. Of course, you see it only when, when you open the door and uh, it does fit both with browns and grays. And it's very practical because it's nearly impossible to scratch it and you don't see dust. So it's very convenient. Here we see the green tea matte lacquer. I especially like it because it's a very soft uh, and light shade of green. And uh, here I could imagine matching different colors for the grips. I really love the, the single color here. Uh, but uh, for example, I could also imagine a white or light gray closet with green tea uh, grips. Uh, here we see the Rasato Fumé uh, laminate. Uh, this is, I love it because it's very textured. You can actually perceive that it's not plain. Uh, it's even more uh, effective in terms of perception than the old copper that I quoted before because uh, it just looks like a real stone. While it's not, it's cheaper and very practical, very convenient. Uh, Rasato Fumé, it's a dark gray with shades of brown. Sorry if I repeat myself, but you know, <coughs> there are the structural elements. It's very convenient to have them that, have, that, that they can both welcome both the shades of gray and the shades of browns because that means flexibility in your home, okay? And uh, we see here the, another finish for the inside, which is, uh, this, uh, it's called colonial, coloniale effect, uh, which is a, a dove gray. Uh, even this one, it's, uh, let's say, I would say less uh, fancy than the, than the Oxford sand, but uh, also very practical, both in terms of scratches and dust and so on. So much flexibility for the outside and also for the inside. So we've come to the end of today's product review of the White Closet Collection. Uh, thanks for staying with us uh, until now, until the end of the video. And thanks a lot for, uh, for, uh, to all our followers because our channel is, uh, is growing. So if you like the video, please subscribe. It really does help the growth of the channel and it, it gives us an incentive to try our best. So see you next time. Bye-bye.